Okay, well, this is a continuation of the problem that had to do with the data, except uh, this time we're going to try to get a uh, logistic model to fit, and we're going to see how that does in terms of uh, making predictions. So in the last video, which you're going to have to watch, the preceding one, we determined that the best fit exponential model looks like this, and these were our predictions based on that. So to learn how to load the data in, you're going to have to look at the previous one. So I'm assuming all the data is in. And we're going to hit the stat key, like we did for exponential regression. And we're going to go over to calc. And then down, it's all the way at the bottom. It says logistic. And then you press enter. And enter again. And it's working up here. You can see it going by. It's working. And now it spits out the answer. So here's the form of the logistic model. There's the form. I'm going to move the calculator to the side and write what the form looks like. It says what? P as a function of T is equal to some constant divided by 1 plus A, another constant or parameter, e to the minus b t. Okay? So that's the form, and you notice that we need to know three things, c, a, and b. And that's what we do. We know c, a, and b here. So that's the logistic model. Now let's take a look at uh, how well it fits. Do you notice, unfortunately, there's no correlation coefficient for the logistic model? So we're just going to have to take a look at the picture and see. So how do we do that again? How do we do that again? You press Y equals. You go to one of your open Y slots. Then you do what? You do VARs. And then down to statistics. And over to equation. And then you choose regression equation, the first one, and it spits it in there. Of course, the numbers are got a lot of decimal places. That's okay. Now if we press the graph key, we should see our data and then the <coughs> logistic curve uh, fitting the data. And you can see it looks pretty good. In fact, we can uh, zoom in. We can change our window a little bit from the previous problem. So let's go down. We can leave that at 400. That's okay. But let's bring this down to, I don't know, 500. Let's we'll see. There. Now we can see the curve a little better. We can see that the logistic equation <coughs> fits this data a lot better. There's no issue of it taken away, taken off in, the, in a steeper direction than the data was. So um, I'm pretty much liking the logistic model here. Populations generally follow the logistic model, uh, at least in their later stages. They follow an exponential model in the beginning a lot, but in their later stages, like now, this time, uh, logistic model fits better. So, let's uh, finish the uh, problem then. Okay, so we need 500 and a billion, right? We've got our model already. I'm not going to rewrite the numbers in here. You can get those off the calculator. Uh, we already have it in Y1, so once again, we can do the same thing. It's probably easiest if I just put 500 in here. Okay. And I better uh, check my window right here, right? So let's see. Uh, I need to make it a little bigger, about 600. Okay. So let's plot that and see what happens. Oops. And what did I discover? It looks like in the logistic model, it doesn't even happen uh, in that time span that I got in my window. What if I increase my window size? to, uh, I don't know, 600. Does it cross eventually? Mm, doesn't look like it. So apparently, and that's true of logistic models, they hit something called a carrying capacity. And it looks like the carrying capacity is uh, above 500 million. So what it's trying to say is that the population of the United States, based on a logistic model, will never reach these two values. There'll be a limit. Uh, can we determine the limit from the parameters? Possibly. Let's go back and, uh, and look at those. Um, well, you know what? Turns out that C 
represents the upper limit. Okay, it's called the carrying capacity, and it's in the model 468. So it's obvious based on the actual algebra and the parameter values that we're not going to reach 500 in a million. So the answer to these is it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. We never reach that far. So uh, I think we should be hopeful that the United States population follows the logistic model uh, and that the carrying capacity is. Uh,